And uh, our aim today is really to um, outline the background of the Open Learning Champions programme here in Scotland and how we're growing and adapting the programme. So um, feel free to introduce yourselves in the chat. It'd be great to hear a bit more from everybody who's in the room. Um, and we're going to try to answer questions as we go along. Uh, I'll be leading us through the first few slides and then David will be uh, kind of taking over from there. So, um, Today, we're going to consider a little bit of the context of the Open Learning Champions programme. We're going to look at kind of where the opportunity lies with it. Uh, we'll have a look at some of the new tools that we're implementing as well as part of our model for growth. Uh, we'll also have a look at an example of how we're using the programme in practice alongside um, what success means for the, the programme and what we're doing at the moment. And finally, we're, we're going to be uh, asking for a bit of feedback from you as well. So, Moving swiftly on, um, the, the Open Learning Champions has very direct ties into the adult learning strategy here in Scotland, um, and it's all about empowering those who are working with learners in the community. So um, Open Learning Champions uses um, our Open Learn website, free, free resources mainly, um, and we work with champions or open learning champions who are based in the third sector, local authorities, colleges, unis, and lots more um, types of organizations out with that as well. Um, the real aim is around removing those barriers and supporting pathways for learners from informal to formal learning. And the aim with open learning champions is to, to help build a network of those champions as well to, to join up opportunities for learners um, and it's all about using those open learn resources flexibly to support work already taking place um, within those communities as well. Um, open learn is ideal for this um, as it has huge range of resources um, across lots of different levels and lots of different modalities as well um, but the champions are really the key part of it to engaging learners and using the resources to identify how best they can support the learners to reach their goals so we've included the adult learning strategy kind of some some of the key aims from that um, on this slide just to hopefully show where open learning champions kind of sits along alongside it as well. So what we've done recently, um, the, the Open Learning Champions programme has been going for a number of years across Scotland. Um, and you can see that we've had a good number of champions over the years. Um, so we've got around 400 uh, signed up at the moment. And many of them have been champions for, for quite a long time. Um, uh, an evaluation was take, undertaken recently um, and this was carried out by our access participation and success team here in Scotland. And we, we had some recommendations that came out of that evaluation as well. And there was actually a, um, a paper written for the Widening Participation and Lifelong Learning Journal as well. Uh, and I'll pump, uh, pop the um, reference for that into the chat in a second too. So, um, on the back of those recommendations, we undertook some kind of feedback and um, we did a review with some stakeholders and um, looking at kind of the model and, and really looking at collaboration across those stakeholders as well. Um, and there's a lot of, of ambition within the OU and Scotland now to, to see what new plans we can make with the programme. The first steps in this process has include, have included um, creating a new op training module online for Open Learning Champions um, and considering the evaluation of the programme and how we can enhance the Open Learning Champion community as well. Um, And so kind of moving on quite swiftly, the, the first of those was talking around that, that Open Learning Champion Online module as well. So um, this was a major piece of work undertaken by David um, to create this, this, um, this module. And the idea with the module is to train um, individual Open Learning Champions, providing an online resource for that. Um, and we've had some really helpful feedback already um, from some of our really experienced champions about what, what that looks like. And, um, to help us tweak it and to carry on developing it as well. We've also used the module in uh, kind of offline face-to-face -face settings as well, um, related to a specific community project that we're working on. 
um, and the module is really used as kind of a wraparound to the face-to-face -face contact, um, allowing for people to go away and explore Open Learning Champions and, and have a look at it um, alongside getting that kind of face-to-face -face support as well. We're also looking at um, how it can be used in an introductory session online with some kind of contacts on a, a, a kind of first contact basis. Um, and using these different methods based around the module should allow us to grow the network flexibly while also being able to um, kind of while being savvy with our resource as well so the online modules is is really helping with that so very happy to now hand over to david who's going to take us through a bit more detail that's great thanks Gemma. <clears throat> I'm also going to give a wee shout out to Anna, who's uh, um, in, our, in our audience today, because Anna, um, I worked with Anna quite a lot in the development of the module and got lots of great feedback um, from her. So it was not definitely not a, a one person job. So I guess, you know, looking at the, the, the options that we have for delivery in terms of using the module and the flexibility that it gives, we wanted to look at how we could grow um, the programme uh, in, in meaningful um, and manageable ways. So one of the things that, that, we, that we have looked to is going for more of a reactive model to taking more of a strategic partnership approach uh, to how we deliver the Open Learning Champions project moving forward. So looking to work with nation, you know, Scotland-wide organisations that allow us to um, uh, create a greater reach but because we can now deliver it through an online platform we can do that in a much more efficient way and um, we've got some community-based um, initiatives underway at the moment I'm going to speak a bit more about one of those um, in a wee second um, it also gives us a, a platform along with another a few um, resources that we're developing a, a kind of new online hub for for um, Open Learn Champions in Scotland. Uh, we're working with partners in Open University in Wales uh, to develop a, a new um, learner interactive tool to facilitate access to Open Learn and course choice, and um, you know, getting people to kind of navigate the the system who maybe aren't perhaps as used to online learning. Um, that will allow us to be a bit more kind of flexible um, and agile in our in our delivery model. I'm just going to move on a wee second. So one of the things that we're looking at as well is, is data and evaluation. So I think we can we can know from conversations that we have, we have regular catch-ups with our champions and, and regular um, connection with them through coffee mornings and other events. We know that the programme is impactful. We know that the champions in the community engaging with learners um, that are known to them, the champions are known to them, works but what we need to develop is a more robust data set and evaluation methodology to allow us to prove the efficacy of the program over the longer term so we're looking at things at the minute like developing a new registration page um, for learners that access open learn uh, th uh, through one of our open learn champions that will allow us to create uh, uh what we call an activity in our our CRM system effectively, and that will allow us to see where learners are accessing Open Learn, and then potentially moving on to to Open University study as well. And then in some of our partnerships at the moment, we're looking at um, a joint approach to evaluation. So the community partnership that I'm going to touch on just now, um, we are carrying out some of the the analysis of the evaluation and the data that we get through. But the collection of that is going to come through some mixed methods, postcards, at events. There's going to be interviews um, um uh, qualitative interviews carried out by champions with their learners because they know them and the relationships are there and we're going to work together to try and understand you know what works well um what would work better in the future and how we can better engage with those that are frankly furthest away from engaging with with online education um in, in the communities in in scotland um, and we're also looking at the combining data from those pieces of evaluation with what we can tell from user um, data on the new hub and, and all of these things um, to give us a better idea of how things are working in practice. Looking at time, four minutes. Okay, let's do this. So in terms of community, there's a great community of champions already, but again, we're looking to promote that community and develop it even further. Two of the key things that we're doing um, there are um, 
through the online module, there's a forum that we're promoting uh, to our existing champions, and we will encourage our new champions as they come on to engage in that forum. And we want to create that peer-to-peer -peer support space. So yes, it's moderated by you know a couple of OU staff, but it's really a discussion space for our champions to share experiences, successes, challenges, mitigations, you know, and ideas, um, and really to connect with each other. Another upcoming thing that I'm quite excited about is because we're doing quite a lot with our colleagues in Open University in Wales, um, they are uh, working with us to deliver a session on, you know, the barriers that adult learners face um, and how a coaching and mentoring approach, depending on how you're working with your learners, may help facilitate a, a, a breakdown of those barriers and, and help people engage with learning in the longer term. So lots going on in the kind of community space. This is just um, a, the, one of the community projects that, that we were talking about. So the short version is what we've done is we've developed 25, I think it is, Open Learning Champions in a specific location in Scotland. They are working actively with their learners just now and how we're supporting them in the longer term um, is running a number of drop-in sessions in the community, uh, community centre on a fortnightly basis. They started at the end of March and they're going to run through until the end of August. So the first one was very much a drop-in, come and meet us, let's discuss what your needs are, tell us what you would like to get out of learning. There's one running next Tuesday that's focused on neighbourhood nature. And we're also going to have some activities run by one of our champions for, you know, kids because it's Easter holidays. So we're trying to reduce barriers that way as well. So there's something for, for the kids to do. And while that program's running, we're also going to have tasters of our access module that's starting in October, um, which is a psychology, wellbeing um, and social science module. Uh, and we're hoping to identify a cohort of about 18 people to go on to that module and they will get the support from our tutors as normal but they'll also get some wraparound support delivered by the local college so it's a whole program uh, which we'll be evaluating from start to finish based on the local community that started off with the champions um, and they're really driving things forward they're the kind of fuel <laughs> in the engine so to speak and then Two minutes, okay, let's do it. So there's some measures of success and some outputs that we're looking at, I think. What we're really keen to see is growth of the network, our impact on our learners in a myriad of ways, whether that's confidence in themselves, new skills for work, new skills for life, um, or whether that's moving on to more formal um, accredited learning opportunities, with or without the Open University. I mean, we're just wanting to support the adult learning strategy in general. We've got one minute, so I'm going to try this. I'm going to try and share my screen now. We have got some uh, uh, a little feedback tool using Mentimeter. So if you give me two seconds, I'm going to see if I can get that to work. Okay, can you see that? On screen now, Gemma. That's great. So um, if you go, you can either scan the barcode or go to um, menti.com uh, and enter that code. Um, if you give me two seconds, this is actually the second screen. There we go. So you should see five questions which you can rate. Um, so Hopefully you'll be able to rate those now if you've logged on. Um, and then I'll give that 30 seconds. Hopefully you're still there and then I'll move on to the next slide. But the the, the feedback's open after the, the presentation finishes. So while um, we're still here, I just want to say thanks to me and Gemma for, for coming along. Um, 15 minutes sounds like a long time. 15 minutes is not a long time. Uh, so that, <laughs> um, that's uh, obviously gone quicker than we thought, but thank you very much for coming along and we hope you found it found it useful. You should be able to see on the screen now some of the responses that we're getting. So learners at the heart, five, that's great. Programme will support access, about six, that's grand. And some more coming through, grand. And I am just going to move us on to the next one, which is if you have time, um, add any kind of feedback you've got about what we've delivered today. If you've got time to do that, that would be great. We'd be really kind of keen to, to hear from you that way. Thanks everyone for joining us today. Hopefully we'll get some feedback. And we'll stick around just in case there's any questions in the chat, if you wanted to stick around and, and chat. Thanks, Anna.
Thanks, Paul. I thought I recognised your name. That's great. And I think that's us. Thanks very much. Um, uh, enjoy the rest of the session. Anna, we're going to come to your session tomorrow, I think. Uh, we've got that booked in the diary um, and look forward to, to hearing about, about what you've got to share tomorrow as well. Thanks, Mark, as well. Okay, take care. Bye.